Welcome back to Sweet Everything, guys. If you love Scottish eggs, this episode is dedicated 100% to you because if there's one thing sous vide is wonderful for, it's to cook some amazing eggs. Check it out. The first thing we gotta figure it out is how to cook the perfect egg sous vide. And some people might like soft boil and others might like hard boil. And to determine the best way, we're gonna run some experiments. Here's an egg cooked at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of one hour. It looks completely raw, and it actually is. But at the same time, this egg is 100% pasteurized. And as you can already tell, this will not work for Scottish eggs. If I raise the temperature to 144 degrees Fahrenheit and I cook it for one hour, this is what it looks like. The egg white is almost raw, but the yolk actually got cooked a little, and it's still nowhere near where we wanna be. But if I raise the temperature temperature to 148 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour, this is what I have. The egg whites is still completely runny. That's not good. But the yolks, something is happening over here. It's no longer runny. It's almost the texture of butter. I will say this will go very nicely with bread, but not for our Scottish eggs. Now here's where it gets really interesting. If I raise it to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, this is what I got. The egg whites are kind of weird. It's still kind of runny, but also solidified a little bit. But the egg yolks, what in the world is that? It's almost like Play-Doh. That is not good. And there's no way that we can make this a Scottish egg because it would just basically disintegrate as we're making it. So I continued to cook several different eggs at different temperatures, raising the temperature little by little. To find out if we're cooking them for one hour and raising the temperature, any of them will actually be good. But as it turns out, no. It does not matter what you do because the egg whites and the egg yolks cook at different temperatures. So it's not only about temperature, but also the time. So the key is to determine a high temperature for the egg whites, but a lower one for the egg yolks. And after cooking dozen of eggs, I determined that the best temperature is 195 degrees Fahrenheit. That will definitely cook the egg whites perfectly. But we have to be very careful with the egg yolks. So that's where time comes in. And if you want the perfect soft boiled egg, you want to cook it at 195 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 minutes. But if you are a hard boiled egg lover, you want to cook it at 195 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 minutes. That will give you hard boiled eggs just like this without any green bands over the egg yolks. I got my beautiful eggs cooked at 195 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of 8 minutes. For the soft boil, for the hard boil, 18 minutes. Now it will give you perfection every single time everybody. With all that being said, it's time to take them out. They are ready. Now let's talk about peeling eggs because that can make Scottish eggs not fun. But if you follow these steps, you'll make the job a lot easier. And that is as soon as they're cooked, throw them in the ice bath. Let them sit that for at least five minutes. This will stop the cooking process. Once the five minutes are up, I like to crack them all. At the same time, do not start peeling them. If you throw them back in the water with the shells cracked just like this, water will get inside and it will make your job a lot easier. Just let it rest in there and do its thing for at least two minutes. Because as you can see, it makes the job a lot easier to peel. It does not get any easier than that. There we have it, perfectly cooked eggs, soft boil, and also hard boil. Now let's talk about the meat. Usually cottage egg is made with sausage, but in Brazil cottage egg is made with ground beef. So today I'm gonna do both versions for you. The first one is just by using regular old sausage that you can buy in any supermarket in the US. All you have to do is lay down some clinch plastic, spread out your sausage as best as you can, and make sure by the time you're done you have a nice thin layer. You do not want this thing thick. To coat the egg with the sausage, the easiest way I found is to definitely use a little bit of water. This will prevent the meat from sticking to your hand. And all there is really to do is to just mold them the shape you like. Just remember to keep a nice thin coat and don't overdo it. But as I previously mentioned, that's not how we make it in Brazil. And I'm gonna show you my recipe for it. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. So we started with ground beef 80-20, followed by white onions, breadcrumbs, parsley, garlic, egg, parmesan cheese, salt, and black pepper. Now there's left to do is to mix it well and your meat dough is ready. As you can probably tell, it's a very similar mix to meatball. And that is what makes it awesome. Now really all there's left to do is to make it the same exact way we just did the sausage. Spread it around nicely as best as you can. Remember to use that water so that it does not stick on your hands and all of our cottage eggs are ready for the breadcrumbs. Talking about that, I started mine with a little bit of panko, followed by parsley, black pepper, salt, and Guga's rub. Now mix it well and your breadcrumbs are ready. I'm using the three-step breading, which is my go-to. First slightly dust them with flour, then into the egg wash, and finish it off with the breadcrumbs. As you already know, it's not a big deal and it's easy to do. And once I was done, this is what they look like. I like to put them in this little bowl so that they keep their shape. 
Another thing you can do is just fry them right away. Or freeze them because they'll last in your freezer for a good time. Now of course, with Scottish egg, it's always nice to have a sauce. And mine is very simple to do. Throw in two tablespoons of mayo, followed by one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and a good pinch of cayenne for Chef John. Mix it well and your sauce is ready. Now that I got my beautiful eggs ready to go, the only thing left to do is to deep fry them. Talking about that, I am going to be using canola oil. It's neutral in flavor. It's not gonna put any weird flavor on my Scottish egg. And most importantly, the temperature of the oil is gonna be at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That way, I'll look for a nice golden brown color on the breadcrumbs. Once that's done, I'll know that my eggs are fully cooked, the meat because the eggs are cooked already. The meat will be fully cooked because I know these eggs don't look that good right now. But watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful Scottish eggs. What do you think, Angel? It actually looks <laughs> pretty appetizing like that. We have to give it a try. There's two kinds. We okay. have sausage and we have meat and we have soft boil and hard boil. Which one you wanna try first? Let's try the Let's original. Go, yeah. It smells amazing. Smells good. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. It didn't work. It didn't work? You fell out? <laughs> Thank God it's hard boil, huh? I like that. It's good. It's Scottish egg, everybody. I would say the great thing about it is that the egg white is not overcooked. It's not rubbery. That's what I mean by that. This one is better than the last one I had, that's for sure. Oh yeah? <laughs> I think that that's the secret right there. If you don't overcook the egg whites and it's not rubbery, then it's all good to go. And the sausage, it's good. But this one is not sausage. This one is meat and look at you going already. <laughs> Let me try with the salsita. Oh, I didn't do that. I just took mm. a, another bite, like a bowl. A the bit. sauce is a huge upgrade. Huge upgrade, everybody. I don't put too much, but it's not too Definitely much. recommend it with the sauce. Let's Go see ahead. Up with you sauce. see, it's like a complete different experience. It's completely different. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? It tastes, it, it tastes better. It make it taste better. I like them both. You like them both with the sauce and without the sauce? Yeah. Okay, let's try a hard boil now with ground beef. Ground Cheers, beef. everybody. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> Say what you want. <laughs> this is 10 times better. I agree. I know, right? Give me five on that one. This one is the one you gotta make, everybody. Ground beef is just so much better. Now I'm gonna try with the salsita. Put a little bit of salsita in there. Cheers, Angel. Cheers. Come on. Come on. Pretty That's good. amazing. I say we just dig in soft boiled ground beef because we already know the ground beef is better than the sausage anyway. Okay. Runny yeah. yolk. I love runny yolk, everybody. Huh? Runny work is amazing. I'm cool with everything, bro. Eggs are good. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Even raw. No, so raw. No, no, raw is a little bit. Well, I've done it, but no. Yeah, on a protein shake. That, that, those, yeah. those, those are good. Nah, when I was little, I thought I was rocky for a few minutes. <laughs> That didn't work out very good. The no. way, same way it went up and it went straight out. <laughs> yeah, I, my mom had to record it and everything. She was like, I don't believe you're gonna do it. And I did it. And you I did like, it anyway. <laughs> Soft boy, cheers, cheers, Angel. They're it is good. phenomenal. They're all good. Completely different experience. Good. If I have to recommend, I definitely recommend this one right here. Yeah, you can see it's definitely running. Yeah, the soft boil is a lot better, everybody, than the hard boil. And let me tell you something. You that, like the soft one more? I like the soft boil. I like both. I'm good with either one. But if I had to give a preference, yeah, I'd probably go with the hard boil. Really? I like that runny with yolk. With the ground beef. When you put it with the runny yolk, it just basically becomes creamier and everything is like so soft in your hand and your mouth. It's phenomenal. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in any of the equipment I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Definitely make the sauce. It's worth it, and it's easy. You just gotta put some mayo together and take it easy on that cayenne. <laughs> <laughs>
because I might have overdone it over here. See you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.